There's this eerie feeling in the neighborhood because we're about to experience a pretty big snowstorm. And this is gonna be my first snowstorm by myself because Bernardo is still in Moncton, Canada with his sister for a family emergency. I'm a little scared because where we live on the Columbia River Gorge, the weather is amplified a lot. I mean, as a native Floridian, it's kind of like a preparing for a hurricane, but... Come on. I haven't seen people, I think in over a week. It's a little cold in here. But I just hope we have electricity tomorrow. I have all the food. I have a power supply so if the power goes out, have enough candles and flashlights. So I think we have everything ready. Henry's already looking a little scared. So I can't be scared because if the both of us are scared, this is just going to be a recipe for disaster. As it becomes dark outside, yeah, the weather looks like it's getting worse, but it's time to walk Henry. It's like our little nighttime routine, and he's been patiently waiting. No, you don't like it. Keep your nose warm. What do people do with their dogs when there's a big winter storm? Because it's still going. He threw up twice, so. Maybe he has diarrhea. Please, I hope that's not it. You must be sick. You should go try. Come on. Come on. We have a brownout, which I had no idea what that was until the neighbor called me. Some things in the house work, some don't. So like the electricity in the bath, the bedroom doesn't work. The Wi-Fi went out. All right, this might get interesting. There's no electricity. This sucks. <sighs> She's damn bitch. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I need some. I need some coffee. You didn't have to pee. You're lying to me. Uh, hey, we got for this on. Because of all this snow, he really doesn't want to go on his walks anymore. But 
You know, after his walks, he's been making me stay out and have a little bit of fun in the snow. One, hear me. One, two, three, hear me. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> Woo I told Bernardo we would lose electricity and power. He said, yeah, but you can still text. I can't text him, and I knew that sounded weird. So I'm a little worried that he's gonna be worried about us. Oh, I gotta make a fire. Yeah, that's right, keep us warm. It's a little cold in here. <laughs> Bernardo wouldn't be too happy to feel this type of cold. But Henry gets hot very easily. We're like the same, so doing it for him. It's like everyone in the neighborhood's not here, which is scaring me a little. We finished the taste, we can walk. Okay. One, two. Hey, let me. Mm. As it becomes dark, we still don't have any power, but I actually find this to be quite peaceful. Yep, I should have definitely gotten a bigger pot. Oh well. Oh. Okay. Charge the phone. I was able to get a text message sent to Bernardo. When I was walking in the neighborhood, I, you can get like one or two bars. So I told him not to worry, not to panic. We're doing good. He told me to keep the fire going. <laughs> Recording. Yeah. Just, ran off again. yeah, I went out. <laughs> yep. You hear Daddy Bernardo? He's right here. Hey. Yeah. Harry. Harry. <laughs> Look, he's... I wonder if he's gonna bark at me when I oh, get Oh, he's putting up his arm. Or... Oh, so cute. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
That was an interesting night, but I just hope we have electricity tomorrow. It's hard without electricity, but fingers crossed, it's gonna come on tomorrow. Manifest, manifest. We have power. Woo! Look how pretty the. Oh, you can't see it. Oh, I gotta show it to you. Now, therapy. You'll be staying here, listening. Okay, okay. Okay. You're free. You're free. Since we've lived here, I can definitely say that this is one of the most beautiful sunsets I've seen. I wish Bernardo could see it. I'm sending him pictures and photos. for an ice storm and they're closing off a big interstate where we can get to and from places so going to be a little bit more isolated because it's going to be very dangerous to drive as we wait for this ice storm we have no idea what to expect. The only thing I know that this is when it becomes dangerous. Been editing the YouTube video, trying, I think I'm spending too much time on it, but Henry lets me know when it's bedtime. It's past his bedtime. It's like 10. Normally, I come to bed around 9.30. Okay, sweetie. This is my side. Okay. Ok, 
Okay, I think I'm over this. I haven't seen people, I think, in over a week. And I'm missing people. I haven't been to the gym because of the roads. Thank goodness I have Henry or I would have gone. Help! Save me! Or save us! Save us! Sheevish! Get people coming! Sheevish! I think I'm already going a little. Thanks for spending this winter storm with us. You kept you kept us a little sane. Okay. Still snowing. They thought it was gonna stop snowing last night, but it's gonna, I guess it turned, took a turn or something. It's gonna be snowing all day today. So all the roads are still closed and Henry's been throwing up for the past two days. He had meat. So I'm gonna have to go to the market to try to buy some food for him. Back soon, okay? Be right back. Just one minute. walking here. Some guy just picked me up. He was asking where I was going. I told him the market. He was going there too. So he gave me a ride. That looks sweet. I got you some food. Tell me some cookies. Okay. Okay. I'm going to eat. What? I'm going to eat. See if this works. That was a failed attempt.
Waterfalls, check. Wind, check. Snow, check. Cold water, check. What doesn't he like? Oh, man. Ah. He's a little timid with me. Kind of warming up now. I need to go to the store, at least to the market here. But don't have a big shovel to get the car out. So I got this. Maybe I can just reverse. I'm just hoping no neighbors are here to see what I'm up to. But I think I need to go forward. Not reverse. This is forward. Because I really have no idea what I'm doing. It's kind of fluffy. I have an idea. This is where my brain works the best. When you don't have something, you figure it out. Go on, Henry. Come on, Henry. I need to get out the car. You need some food? No, don't. Don't. You're going to go inside. You're gonna go inside. Ooh. Ding, ding, ding. I think that's a little too much work. I don't even know if it will go. It's kind of impossible, right? I don't have to clear all this. Maybe I can just go. Let me try. Should have bought a shovel. Another day and I texted the nice neighbor to see if I could borrow his shovel and of course he said yes. The front's impossible. I'm trying to go to the back. Wow. This is more for Bernardo. This is like math. Math's involved in this. Not good at that. It's like an SAT problem. Your car is stuck. Do you try to get it out of the front side or the back side and the angle? Didn't do good in my SATs. Be able to push some of that out back there. Yeah? Oh, cool. See what I can do. Hell no. I was going to go to the gym. But I think I got a good workout. That's hard. It's pretty good though, right? All right, I'm gonna try it. There is nothing. Okay, all the drive.
His 18 year old son saw that I was having a little bit of trouble and he came out to help me. Then his dad came out to help. After like an hour, we finally got the car out in the snow. I could finally drive it. I have no idea how many days this has been, but I've learned I definitely need to buy a shovel. It's because of that pile that we have here. Uh, community is really important. They've they helped me get out of the car, gave me warnings. I miss Bernardo a lot. Henry and I are super close. Uh, at starting, you know, when Bernardo left, we were a little distant. I can't. I just can't. But now our relationship is really strong. And I don't know if you've experienced grief. Thankfully, I haven't experienced grief, like losing someone really close, but I don't know how someone does it because it was just hard for me to pick up Bernardo's dirty clothes when he went to the airport. I left them there for a couple weeks. And I also have to say, I'm proud of myself for this whole month I've been by myself doing the snowstorm. The house hasn't burned down and been able to do it. Do, you know, working our uh, formal job, doing YouTube, editing, the Patreon weekly updates. Since we don't post weekly videos here, this is a great way for you to stay up to date with what we're doing. We do monthly Zoom chats and have over a hundred extra videos over on our Patreon page, and it's a great way to support our work. Yeah, I'm proud. Thank you for watching, for being here with us, and yeah, we're just really grateful for you and for this wonderful community. So Bernardo is going to be back in the next video, sending you a big kiss. Love you guys. Bye-bye.